Hey guys, what's up? I did not have enough time to do a stream today, so I figured I would do another video. Uh, the last video, which I released a few days ago, <laughs> actually got a lot more uh, positive reception than I was expecting. There were a lot of positive comments, and it got like over 200 views, which is a lot more than I thought it would get. So I was actually pleasantly surprised by that. Um, but yeah, I'll get right into this. So I've been speedrunning for over three years now. So over that time, I've, uh, I've met a lot of different speedrunners and I've seen a lot of different people get into the hobby. And I, uh, I figured I would just talk about that a little bit today. So, um, yeah, what I'm going to be talking about is, at least in my experience, like the two main types of speedrunners uh, concerning some different aspects of it. All right, so let me just get right into it. Um, people who want to pick up speedrunning, right? So let's start from my own personal experience. When, when I wanted to learn speedrunning, um, I spent the first six months that I even knew about speedrunning only watching it. Uh, I watched Super Mario Sunshine, duh. That's the game I ended up starting with. But yeah, I, I watched that religiously. I was mainly watching Stelzig back then. He was streaming very actively at the time. And, um, I know that when I had been watching it for a while, the, like, the mindset that I had was, like, I can do that, you know? Kind of like this, uh, it's, it's like you don't really realize, at least in my case, like, I didn't really realize when I was looking at it, like, how, how tough it actually was. So, that was actually, you know, like, way before I actually started speedrunning i picked up the controller like i i grabbed the game out of my closet whatever whether wherever it was and i i tried messing around a little bit and at that point i i kind of realized like okay this might be a little bit harder than it looks but i didn't really i didn't really stick with it i just played around a little bit and then i put it back in the closet and it, it took several months more for me to uh finally commit to it mainly out of boredom um, but yeah, so that was my personal mindset. And I think that that's, when it comes to new speedrunners, I think that's one type of new speedrunner is the speedrunner who, who looks at it and he's like, or they are like, uh, oh, hey, that looks cool. I bet I can do that. And then they just jump into it. You know, for me, it took a little bit. Um, but yeah, like being a speedrunner and seeing a lot of other people getting into it there is a second main type of person that i've noticed and i think that this is honestly the majority um i might be wrong on that though so let me know what you think uh if if you think i'm wrong or if you agree but the second kind of person is the person who sees speedrunning and on the one hand, they think like, oh, this is really cool. But then they also think that, oh, this looks so hard. I could never do this. And, uh, you know, like usually these people, they they really want to do it, but they're they're holding themselves back and they need a lot of encouragement. And it's 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 something that I just I see it so often. It's like, you know, people are starting out and they are so intimidated by better players that they're kind of afraid to to do their own thing you know so uh because they still think that it's really cool they still try you know and that's that's all you need is to get started speeding all you need is to try but these kinds of people they tend to uh they tend to ask for a lot of help and they tend to be afraid to just try stuff out on their own. So, 
you've got the people who are like you know kind of confident and you've got the people who are very hesitant and these two kinds of people they need like they they kind of need different things from from a community when they're starting out so i think for the for the person who is like pretty confident and who who's who's probably thinking like yeah i can do this you know uh what's important for them is that there there's any way you know for them to learn the game on their own so for me um at the time there was a a guide by tofu for super mario sunshine which you know it wasn't anything fancy it was just a collection of videos it wasn't voiced or anything there was no explanation it was just straight gameplay but it just showed off the strats you know it, you could have you could have done the same thing by just looking at a bunch of runs but you know having all those videos in one place that was really helpful for me you know like that was all i needed to get started so I just used that and uh, I worked my way through the game and then I just started doing runs and um, yeah, that, that was pretty much it, <laughs> you know, <laughs> and then you have the, the people, the, the, the second kind of, of speedrunner, they tend to, uh, they tend to really appreciate having, having the voiced guides, um, but you know, at the same time, I think that they rely on guides too much. So this happens to me really often is that when someone is asking for help uh, about Super Mario Sunshine and then they they just they 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 feel like they really need someone to explain what they have to do in great detail, but in my opinion, it kind of goes against what speedrunning is about. Speedrunning should be kind of about experimenting and figuring stuff out on your own. And I think that if you don't get into that mindset where you're not afraid to try stuff, then you're going to find it really hard to succeed or, you know, to get really far, to get good at a game. You know, that's going to be hard. And um i on the one hand it can be it can be pretty easy to get frustrated with people when they just insist on kind of having their hands held when it comes to learning a game but it's it's something that i've caught myself doing before and i think that that's wrong you know like these people just uh they just need a confidence boost you know, so I think what they really need is to be kind of nudged in the uh, in the right direction as for how they need to approach speedrunning, and the same the same applies though to um, to the other kind of speedrunner, the people who are more like me, is that because they they tend to be very um, how do you say this? They tend to be very uh, independent. Uh, the opposite is kind of true for them is that they might be hesitant to actually listen to advice. Now, this obviously differs, uh, de depends on the person. I mean, I think, I feel like most people are gonna naturally want to listen to someone if they know that that person has a great deal of expertise, but it's a very important skill as a speedrunner to be able to self-evaluate and uh, you know rec recognize your mistakes, especially if other people are also catching on to it. And I think that if you're very independent and you really want to do stuff your own way, then you can kind of uh, you know get your head up your own ass a little bit, and you'll you won't listen to valid advice. So. You know, both, both of these like styles have their, they have their pros and their cons, I think, because if you're, 
if you're if you really like take the time and ask people for help and you know ask them to explain all you can learn a lot about the game that way because you're not going to be able to figure everything else out on your own or like it's impossible there in any competitive speed game there's going to be so much stuff that you need to learn like you can't do it on your own you have to ask people for help and that was something that was always kind of hard for me so when i started speedrunning i never talked in twitch chats ever like i had been lurking in stelzik's chat for six months and i just decided to start playing and if i had never been kind of pulled into the community and you know if people hadn't kind of helped me uh talk to runners and stuff then i probably would have never gotten to where i am right now like that was something that i was really bad at like i just had my one stream that i watched which was stelzig and that was it like i looked at the guide videos but yeah you can't learn any everything that way so yeah i don't know it's it's interesting how like you kind of want to be you want to be somewhere in the middle but i think very few people actually are when they when they start speedrunning so yeah i don't know i just like i don't really have a a point that i want to make with that it's just something interesting that i was thinking about and uh yeah let me let me know what your thoughts are like do you think that you f kind of fit in that dichotomy like if you're one or the other or do you think that I'm full of shit and that it doesn't apply to you at all? Um, let me know. Okay, and then if we get kind of past the whole new speedrunners thing, then there's there's some other there's some other stuff. Like there's also two different kinds of speedrunners in terms of the people who've been doing it for longer, and. Um, that is uh on the one hand you have the speedrunners who really wanna they wanna do their best they they care about uh like the games that they're playing they really wanna be the best at those that they can you know they just continuously strive to improve in 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 those games which is usually just a few of them and then you have the speedrunners who uh, who are kind of the opposite in that they just really enjoy the act of speedrunning and they don't really care about the whole like getting super good times. Like they just want to speedrun games and they want to speedrun any game that they think they will enjoy speedrunning. And I think that both of these kinds of speedrunners can be extremely extremely talented uh speedrunners like on the one hand we have uh people like i think a good example of the first kind is chizo 5 he pretty much only plays two speed games super mario 64 and ocarina of time and he is super good at both of those games like he obviously cares a lot about optimizing his times and then on the other end of the spectrum uh we have for example mr shasta now he plays a shit ton of different games like i don't even know how many uh but like it's really interesting that he's also he's he's really good at them you know he he won't have like the uh the same level of optimization in any of his speed games that you know cheese has in super mario 64 obviously that's an extreme example because he's the freaking best super mario 64 player and that is a hella competitive speed game but um yeah, like still, like both of these, I can I consider both of these people very good speedrunners. So it's just interesting to me that like these uh, two different kinds of speedrunners can both be very successful at what they're doing in very different ways. And for me personally, it's always kind of weird because I think I am type one. Like I care a lot about the games that I play and I want to optimize them. Uh, but at the same time, I wish I was a type two. Like, 
Super Mario Sunshine is pretty much the only game that I speedrun that I have a really good time in, and it's simply because I've always found myself unable to pull myself away from that game. And it's also because I find it hard to enjoy new speed games because I really don't enjoy not being good at a game. Like with Sunshine, it's like, oh, nice, you know, I'm good at this game, so it's more fun and I enjoy playing it. But with any other game, like I have to go through that long and arduous process of actually getting good. And that's just hard for me. And I wish I was better at that. And it's, it's something I've been working on, you know, I've been picking up more and more games, but uh, yeah, still none of them I've really gotten very competitive in. Um, but yeah, that's kind of where I got this whole idea that like maybe, maybe it's actually like kind of a personality thing is like some people can do that and others can't because I, I really want to do it, but I just find myself not being able to or at least not easily being able to do it um yeah i don't know i guess that's kind of it that's kind of where my train of thought ends on this uh so yeah once again i don't know let me know what you guys think i just thought it was something interesting to think about and I'll probably uh, I'll probably come up with some other stuff that kind of relates to this. It, it was just uh, it was just a thought that I had, and I figured I'd put it out there, see what other people think. So yeah, uh, let me know, guys. And I would like to thank you for watching, and I will see you when I see you.